Hi, this is Walter Weesey, head guide at Parks Fly Shop, and doing our weekly fly tying video. Today I'm going to be tying a White Miller soft hackle. This is a critically important fly on the Firehole River in, uh, oh, from about the 5th of June, somewhere between the 5th and the 10th of June, until the Firehole gets too warm in the spring, usually anywhere between the 25th of June and the uh, 4th of July, and then again in September, and perhaps the first week or so of October. This is an uh, imitation of the Nectopsyche caddis, uh, probably the most important caddis fly species on the fire hole. It's also present in the Madison and the Gibbon to a degree. Now what I'm doing here is, this is a size 14 uh, short shank dry fly hook. I'm tying this on the dry fly hook because I like to be able to fish this fly in the film since it is essentially an emerger pattern. I'm using an 8 aught uni thread, and then the dubbing I'm using here is uh, pearl ice dub. It's uh, very sparkly, buggy, you can pick it out very well. Uh, we like ice dub a lot here. I'm going to dub this body from the bend of the hook shank here at the back up to about the two-thirds to three-quarter point of the fly, and I'm going to dub it fairly thickly, way too much there, and one of the reasons for doing that is, you'll see in a moment here, I'm actually going to pick out this fly quite a lot. I want there to be a lot of subtle motion, uh, trailing fibers, essentially just a mess here, especially for the, for the back part of the fly. And that'll give you a lot of motion in... Uh, either when you're swinging the fly or dead drifting it. I usually fish it on the swing, but I will dead drift it in the film behind, say, one of our uh, CDC and Elk Caddis, white CDC and Elk Caddis. So I've, I've dubbed in the thorax. The thorax is the Arizona synthetic peacock uh, light shade dubbing. It's sort of a golden olive with yellow or golden highlights. And then again, the, the pearl ice dub for the uh, abdomen. And I've got my dubbing brush here which is just a toothbrush which I've trimmed the fibers at an angle and you can really dig into the body uh, to pick it out without worrying about breaking your thread. If I had a wire dubbing brush I'd break my thread doing that. It's so really root in here. You can dub the body a little looser than I did. I wouldn't have to be ripping out the body quite so hard if I'd dubbed the body a little coarser in the first place, but um, you want to pick out that body pretty thoroughly and get a lot of of the, the pearl fibers trailing back there so that when you're, you're swinging this there's a lot of fine movement. Now for the hackle on this fly, the commercial versions and what I'm tying here, this is a just simply just a Metz cream hen hackle. I've already tied one fly with it, which is why I'm having a little trouble tying it in. Now, if I'm tying these for myself, I also tie them with uh, a gray partridge feather or a uh, light speckled ginger hen ha or uh, India hen hackle. But for the commercial versions of which we tie quite a few of these, this is one of our most important flies in the fire hole. I always use the cream hen. So tie that in, and then you're going to make about three turns with it. It depends. It's you know you can do two turns if you like. I usually do three on this fly because I do want a fairly heavy hackle, uh, especially when you're fishing these in the riffles with a lot of turbulent currents. I think that heavier hackle actually moves a little better than the uh, more traditional thinner wing. Tie that in, and then you'll cover up those tie-in points a little bit here. And this is one reason I tend to tie with ADOT thread on virtually all of my soft tackles. You can make a lot of thread wraps with ADOT and still not create too bulky of a head. And then go ahead and whip finish. I'm going to do a three or four turn whip finish most of the time. And then the final step, of course, is to apply head cement. 
not really necessary, but it is traditional. When I'm talking for myself, I really don't use head cement all that often. That's one of the reasons you have to make sure you don't fill your eye with it. And there is completed White Miller Soft Tackle. Uh, you can see this fly and uh, all of our others at www.parksflyshop.com and we have links to our custom fly pages. If you have any questions on these, these or other patterns, we'd be uh, more than happy to answer them.